Hi everybody, welcome to a new road test. Uh, this time it is the Agilent 3362A Arbitrary Waveform Generator. I'm quite excited about this one. It is a very nice piece of kit from Agilent and I feel quite honored to be able to do a road test on it. Um, the package I just found out on Friday that I was actually a winner in this road test and uh, halfway through Monday, the very next working day, the package arrives in the post. So kudos to Alan 14 for being on the ball, for getting the packages out very, very quickly. I hope the other road testers are uh, equally as lucky. Anyway, um, starting off the usual videos is the unboxing. So without further ado, because I'm quite excited to get into this thing and have a look, Let's get started with that. So I'm just going to adjust the tripod and everything so you can have a closer view. So first thing to say is it's actually in a little bit smaller box than I expected it to be. Uh, based on the capability and everything else, I thought it would be uh, maybe about 50% bigger, but no mind. It uh, is arrived, no dents, well packed and well sealed. There's a lot of packing paper around this thing. Um, as you can see, it's uh, Direct from Agilent, hasn't been opened, hasn't been repacked, so let's uh, start breaking the seals on this thing and see what we have. The, uh, probably speed this bit of video up because it's nothing worse than waiting for get it open. So let's open her up and see what we have. Okay, first thing we have one of these little pull-out table uh, packages, so we'll remove that. I'm sure it's probably got power cables and manuals and things. And uh, let's just bring the camera closer so you can have a look at what's in here. So, just getting a closer view now. So as you can see, lots of styrofoam protecting the device around there. We've got a um, Certificate of Calibration. When was this calibrated? Uh, 25th of January 2014. So just a couple of months ago. Went through full cal, which is excellent. Um, the box we just pulled out of here is down here. And we'll just... Sorry, the light's not too good. Let's just move that side a little bit. So we've got our accessories in here. So it's easy in one hand to free hold the camera. So... I don't expect to be a whole bunch of accessories right now because uh, it's just the USB adapter so that you can plug it into the computer. It actually has uh, apparently multiple interfaces, but um, what have we got here? The uh, Agilent IO Library Suite on uh, CD and the Product Reference CD, so that's going to be the user manual and everything else. Based on the capabilities of this device, I'd imagine it's going to be quite extensive. Um, but I did in my application suggest that one of my first review um, passes will be without reading the manual to actually see how usable this is um, as a newcomer to the device. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how much I can figure out without reading and then go back and see what things I missed and maybe some easy ways to get there. Uh, next thing in the box is the English safety information, so don't put your finger in the socket and things like that, I'm sure. We'll have a look at that, and of course a North American power cable. Okay, so let's get some space cleared here. I'll just put these back in the box and move these aside. Pull the instrument out and see what we have. the box away. So here we have it. As you can see, it's actually not too bad a device. It's actually quite heavy, um, which is no surprise. On the back you can see we have the power connector, uh, an ethernet connector, 
the USB, uh, there's no GPIB option plugged in here. Uh, 10 megahertz input and output, a modulation in and an external trigger gate FS key burst um, connector for doing various um, sweeps and things like that with the device for external control or also feeding out to external devices. So as you can see we have a nice rubber booty around this device to protect it both front and rear. We've got the USB connector on the front, uh, the twin outputs and a nice set of controls and a little plastic cover over the display. I'll just get rid of that because it won't be boxing that there. And uh, that's pretty much it for unboxings.